This is the Swedish Guitar Nerd, and uh, today I'm comparing two guitars. Um, first, it's the Epiphone Les Paul Standard. And second, we have an 89 uh, Gibson Les Paul Custom. Okay. What uh, sets these two apart from each other? Uh, not that much, actually. They both have, uh, yeah, it's the, basically the same construction and um, they both share Grover tuners, big like. Uh, actually, the ones on the Epiphone are a bit more tight, but they are brand new, so that should explain why. They both have mahogany necks, but the uh, custom has an ebony fingerboard and the uh, Standard has a rosewood fingerboard. The frets are actually not the same. Uh, the ones on the custom are a bit higher and a bit more square. Uh, so the ones on the Les Paul Standard are a bit more rounded and not as high, but equally wide. And as I said, this is a rosewood fingerboard. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Then they have mahogany bodies and maple tops, both of them. And uh, the Apple phone is a tiny bit thinner. It's not that much thinner, but just a tiny bit. But it weighs like half of what the, the, the custom does. It's so much heavier. And um, that's a matter of preference, I suppose. I don't like the heaviness and... Um, I don't know. I know this might not be true, uh, but I think it is so that uh, lighter woods uh, resonate better than heavier woods. And lighter woods are usually a sign of them being more expensive. Don't hold me uh, for saying this as something that's true, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, and uh, yeah, they both have uh, humbucker pickups, of course. It's a Les Paul and two volumes, two tones. Yeah. The pickups are rather different, as you'll hear. Uh, this is primarily a sound comparison. So let's start then. And uh, I'll start with a clean sound and the Epiphone Les Paul standard. And yeah. Try some different pickup combinations. Okay. Okay, and now for the Les Paul Custom.
And uh, to my opinion, I actually uh, prefer the Les Paul Customs pickups and the sounds of it. It has, uh, they both have a really pushed mid range, but uh, the Les Paul Custom also has some clear high end and a rather boosty bass thing going as well. So yeah, it covers more of a frequency range than the uh, Les Paul standard from Epiphone. And um, yeah, the Epiphone has the Alnico uh, classic pickups and uh, this one has pickups by Bill Lawrence actually. He was the production uh, manager at this time uh, around the late 80s at Gibson. And he's today a famous uh, pickup designer so yeah. He probably knew what he was doing. He's mostly famous for the L500 pickup, the one that, for instance, Nuno Bettencourt or the late Dimebag Darrell used. So yeah, let's do some uh, high gain sounds and see how the pickups work in that area. Okay, here we go. Let's try the Epiphone Les Paul standard. Thank you. 
And uh, even in the high gain sounds, I think uh, the differences in the pickups really shine through. Playing wise, it's not that big of a difference. Uh, the necks are pretty much similar to each other and have the same uh, uh, width and specs. Uh, so, um, and build wise, I don't, you don't feel that difference. So, uh, I don't know if uh, there's a like $2,000 difference in the sound and uh, for those that kind of money you can buy an awful lot of pickups so um, if you change the pickups on the Les Paul standard uh, from Epiphone uh, I'm quite sure they would be equal actually it's true because other than that it's not that much of a difference they play the same you feel have the same feel of them the Les Paul custom is a lot heavier um, and that to me is a problem actually uh, uh, the Epiphone Les Paul feels much more playable and enjoyable to play, actually. That's my comparison. Okay. Hope you like it. I'll see you soon. Bye.